Pokemon gameplay? Tomorrow, man, tomorrow. 1v1 me Pokemon, you dipshit? Yo, Karar, you are a fucking bot. This guy says 1v1 me, Keen, you dipshit. Let's take a look at his league gameplay. Oh, int feeding in league. It has the nerve to challenge me in Pokemon. His name is Come On Threshook? Okay. NAOPGG. Let's get a little look see at the Twitch chatter. Come on, Threshook. Oh, he's. Oh no. Oh no. Not only is he not NA, and he's not EU, but he's EUNE. -E. Shit talking me in my chat. You motherfucker, Karar. No, I've seen your fiddle. No, you haven't. You're not in my elo bracket. Sorry, man, you haven't seen my fiddle. You're not in my elo bracket. The only people who think I'm bad at fiddle six are the people who are watching me play it in scrims, and my teammates don't know how to play again around fiddle, so it looks bad. Literally. The champ is not bad, but unfortunately, some people don't know how to play with it. No, I've seen your fiddle. Like, what a fucking insult, man. Who is this guy? Gotta pull out the fucking folder on this kid. Gotta see what I'm dealing with here in the chat box. Should you've answered this a thousand times for the most part, I only watch your YouTube. Anyway, what's your thoughts on the best way to pick your champ pool for climbing? Picking the meta champs at the moment or just playing in meaning two or three champs no matter the meta? And if so, how do you choose? Yeah, no, literally, fuck the meta. Just play it whatever the fuck you're good at, man. Literally, just play whatever the fuck you want, man. That is literally all it's about. I promise, you don't need to play meta. I swear to fucking god. How do you go about doing that? It literally doesn't matter what champ it is. Obviously, you don't want to troll. But if you're having fun with something, then sure. You'll see how I play D-tier champs all the time. Oh guys, guess what? I'm gonna build full AD Kha'Zix. It's a new new Korean build. I'm gonna build AP Syndra. It's the new Korean build. Watch me do something crazy. I'm gonna put a point in my ult at level 6. It's the new Chinese strat. It's the Chinese boosting strat. I'm gonna build Tank Sejuani. Looks like we're gonna be skirmishing in the middle lane. Oh, that was an early flash. Lee Sin can be there first because his champ is higher tier than mine. Pretty sure Lee Sin's just waiting for Pike to go in. Lol. Lee Sin wasn't here. Demonte's probably spurging the fuck out right now because that was an obvious gonk. Yo, GG shit kids. I take the win. Lee Sin is higher tier than you. How did he win? Or how did you win? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Even though he picked a broken champion, uh, I have a 1v9 brain, so I was still able to win. Lee Sin and Rumble are in the river behind me. Yo, Pike. Not gonna lie, Pike kinda trolled that one. But it's okay. Not bad, not bad. What a fucking bad kid. Five out of five ravenous stacks at eight fucking minutes on Kha'Zix. Jesus Christ, man. That is a joke.
You know, I'm griefing. I thought my boy was a bit closer, and I wanted to get my I wanted to get my passive on him. Oh, I don't know about this one, buddy. Oh, that is some cringe behavior, man. Wow, they were so fast. The Moby Boots, man. He's too quick. My bad, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, the fadeaway. I mean, we win this. Rumble just has no ult. What is this ego, man? Put a point in my W. I was wondering where Lee Sin went. Oh, there's a lot of people here, man. Uh, if I evolve my abilities properly, man. Why am I dead? Haha, <laughs> they're so lucky that I actually put two points in my fucking thing. The amount of fucking luck. They lucky? You were just dumb, Lamau. <laughs> Have fun getting stuffed in lockers all day, you fucking retard. Eating alone at the lunch table, making fun of people in Twitch chat. <laughs> Hopefully Kevin doesn't want my lunch money today. <laughs> so I get some milk. <laughs> Hopefully the teacher doesn't call on me to talk today in class. <laughs> Wouldn't want any sense of confrontation in my life, so I hide on Twitch chat and flame people. <laughs> Is Kaw good? No. Kaw's pretty shit. That is some cringe gameplay. You know, I knew that was a bad idea. I knew that was a bad idea. I needed I needed Zack to have his E up for that to work. Or I needed Senna to ISO. But since Rumble went up and Senna went down, the towers blocked the ISO. So my only chance there was isolating the Rumble. But it did not uh, pan out, unfortunately. What I wanted did not happen. I'm always so conflicted in scenarios like this. Like, Edge of Night could really be a make or break in some fights, but I'm so fed, I might as well just stay on the map, right? Well, I actually like what Leeson's doing right now, so... Obviously, Leeson's, like, giga behind, right? But if he builds full lethality like he is, he can actually one-shot me. So... He'll never be useful this game, uh, like, if you play normally. But, building full lethality gives him the option to uh, potentially one-shot me in some scenarios, so... I actually like it. The game isn't gonna go long enough for me to get a Penta. My only chance was there in mid lane, but the cards did not- or the stars did not align for me. Hmm. Unforge. I mean, I couldn't do anything else there. Pike just misplayed, unlucky. How likely is it that he one-shots you and he sees on him and he explodes? I mean, if I, if I like face check him or something, he wins. Or like, if I get hooked or something, then I get one shot. We can easily lose this game because I think the only one playing well on this team is Zach. The question is, GA or LDR? Nice ulti, Zach. Let's just go GA. They'll never. They'll. They will inevitably build armor. We should just try to win the game, like do Baron or something.
Nice one, man. Mmm. You know, I knew something could happen there. Is there a jungle assassin isn't bad right now? Kiana. Oh. <laughs> 